Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod. So, potentially, our character will become a lot more powerful today because we're combining accessories that we've already got, and then that's going to free up some space for some new accessories, and I even want to make a brand new weapon because in the last episode, we crafted the Dreadon's Forge, which is a new crafting utility which will make us all of the extra, extra hard mode stuff that you can make. Like, this is, like, top of the range, and then you do a few more bosses, and then you are done, look. So, Bumblebird, Yaren, Supreme Calamitous, and then that's it. So, we're coming close to the to the end, my dudes. Uh, so, I've got to craft up some weapons right now. So, there is a weapon called... So, oh, oh, okay, let me, let me think. Right, I can't remember the name of it, but it's called the Vivid... Clarity, there you go, it's called the Vivid Clarity. And I was going to say, maybe I shouldn't ruin it, but then I think I'm obviously going to have to put it in the thumbnail because it looks amazing. But uh, this is all the uh, the stuff it uses, essentially. So what I did was, in my free time, I went and got some more uh, Nightmare Fuel and some more Endothermic Fuel. And then that was about it for prep. And then I also got some weapons ready. So we're going to start basically just crafting up the stuff needed for it. So that is one thing. I should have all of it. So this is another. This is another. Okay, and then that's one of the items needed. And then we must be coming close to the end now. Oh, wow, a phantom heart? Have I already used that? I must have already used that. Okay, and then here it is, the vivid clarity. So, 737 magical damage. 48% critical strike chance, slow speed, very strong knockback, uses 42 mana, fires three beams of elemental energy near the mouse cursor that bounces on tile hits. These beams split into more beams when enemies are near. The more enemies and the tile the beam hits slash pierces, the more damage they do. So, really cool stuff there. Really, really awesome. Look at this. Alright, I've not seen this myself yet, by the way. I don't think I made this in Season 1. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Right, okay, right. You know it's amazing, because the damage is great, but, like, because it's so slow, you know, it doesn't seem as cool. Let's regen some... Oh, <laughs> thanks. Summoning stuff. Right, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I bet you that is actually really good. I do bet you it's good, but it's just... Whoa! Do you see how much that was to reforge? You must be crazy, Calamity. Mythical? That's as good as I'm going to get, right? Mystic? Mythical. Yeah, I'll go with mythical. 15 damage. Yeah, all right. Okay, cool. All right, it's a little bit faster now then. Okay, it is amazing, and it does look... I mean, look at that. Come on, that does look boss. Just look at it like this from a side shot. That does look really, really cool, but it's a little slow to... to I don't know. It's got a function anyway. I bet it's cool. We'll have to use it when it's, uh, when it's properly time. Right, so I'm going to dump some weapons away, because I do have a lot of weapons, but I don't necessarily want to uh, to carry so many on me, because although they are great, I'd rather just keep a, a, a decent few. So I'm going to put this here, and then I've got some crafting materials I need to get rid of. So ever since the uh, the change into, heart, into uh, Post Moon Lord on this series, I've been getting a lot and a lot of messages about one thing, and it's... Uh, and I don't blame you guys, Duke Fishron. It just doesn't look right not completed. <laughs> and I feel really bad because I couldn't beat it. I tried and uh, and I was really terrible at it. I was just thinking, I was like, alright, okay, I need to do that. But I don't have any uh, I don't have any worms on me. So that's actually a little bit of a problem because I uh Actually, you know what? A Zerg potion might stop that. Right, I'm gonna grab a Zerg potion. And we'll we'll look for some and see if we can get some. Because usually I stock up, so I might do that. Right, so next up is accessories today. So we're going to move over this thing into this thing, essentially. So here's what it does before. Grants immunity to fire blocks. 12% uh, damage reduction while submerged in liquid. Increased uh, defense by 10, plus 50 max life and life regen. Grants improved holy dash. So we're combining this and this together. So this is something that you could do before in uh, in Season 1 quite easily. Now you have to wait until the Dryden's Forge. So we're going to make that up. 
So it's called the uh, the Asgardian Agis. So we did use this in season one. So pretty cool. So that is not got a reforge on it. So I need this to be warding. So let's see how much this is going to set me back. This is going to be mad, isn't it? Oh, a free platinum. That's not bad. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> warding. Okay, so there's an, also an upgrade to uh, to this. To this uh, Sigil of Calamitous. So I need to make that. So this changes into the Ethereal Talisman. So you need a Mana Rose, some Phantasm, and then 20 of each of these. So I have that. I made my, uh, my Mana Flower, not my Mana Rose. I've already made that. So we're about to that. That is in accessories because it's new. So this goes to the Ethereal Talisman. 20% increased magical damage, critical strike chance, and 20% decreased mana usage. Plus 150 max mana. Increased life regeneration and reveals treasure locations. Reduces the cooldown of healing potions. So that's something it didn't do before. You automatically use mana potions when needed. Magic attacks have a chance to instantly kill normal enemies. So, as you can see, we are now with one more accessory slot. So, it'd be really cool if you guys could help me uh, find a new one. A new accessory to use. Maybe there is one from a boss drop that we don't have. But I definitely need one. So, what I might do is I might look in accessories and just pick one of these. Plague Hive is pretty awesome. The Landrum is pretty awesome. What's this? Uh, I might use this again. So... Being above 70, yeah, I'm just going to use this for now, because that's pretty cool. But I need to uh, reforge it back to warding. Hey everyone, end of the episode, James here. So I actually didn't craft one of the accessories I wanted to make. So I imagine a lot of the comments today will probably be like, hey, you didn't make this when you could have easily made it. And I completely agree. So I'm going to make it now real quick, but through the rest of the episode, I won't be using it. I just want you to know that I knew it was there, that the possibility was there, and that I can make it. So these and these combine together to make something new. And they are the Elysian Tracers. Pretty cool accessory. And, uh, and now we'll go a little bit faster and a little bit higher. Right, okay. Enjoy the rest of the episode, guys. This thought I'd... Uh, I'd uh, fit that one in there. So guys, you may have been wondering why there wasn't a uh, an episode as soon as you you may have liked. There was actually a, a bug on YouTube going around for a few days where uh, content creators couldn't upload videos. So I kind of, I looked at that and all of my friends were having issues, all of my YouTube friends. And essentially everyone in my timeline was just having issues with this bug. So I kind of was just like, you know what, I'm just going to leave it a day. I'm just going to take a day off because there's no point because if you make a video and then nobody gets to see it you've wasted a potential day of uh, of working because if nobody sees it then you know then you're going to mess up your own system of if people essentially it works like this youtube is really messy in a, in a way but if people skip an episode then youtube won't recommend the next episode to that person so it's like you you have to make sure everybody watches every episode or they stop recommending it to you, so it's not great. Okay, so I've got all that. I've got my Zerg. I'm hoping the Zerg helps. All right, so we are off to go and do Duke Fishron. Turns out a Zerg potion does not help you uh, with truffles. It just took me a really long time to get one, but, you know, it'll be the last one that we get for a while anyway, so not too much to worry. So in case you are new, welcome. My name is James. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Um, I'm sure most of you are not new by now, but uh, hey, it is nice to meet new people. Um, but if you guys don't know, the next series we are doing is the Spirit Mod. I just want to let you all know now, uh, so you are fully aware, it's the Spirit Mod next. And uh, and even though I have not finished Forium yet, it is a priority of mine. I do want to finish Forium, and, uh, and I will do, but I wanted to... To go over the multiplayer aspect with Python because I thought I was doing the mod an injustice by not doing that. And uh, so I will be getting around to doing that. But just treat it as a back burner series. When it gets done, it gets done. Um, but I do really want to do it. So when I have the time and when Python has the time, I'll do it. I'll, we'll, we'll make it together. And uh, there really isn't much left to that series. That series will be really quick because uh, you can kind of breeze through the final half of Forum from what I've seen. So yeah, Spirit Mod is next. I'm very excited. I'm very sad to be ending Calamity. After, uh, I can't remember. It's like, what month is it now? 
It's September. We've been doing Calamity for nine months. Don't know if you guys knew that. I love Calamity. <laughs> I genuinely think it's such a good bloody mod. It's so good. All right. Come on, Duke Fishron. Come on, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> that took me weeks to do. But now it's finally done. The monsoon. Oh, that looks really cool. Five shark fins. Oh, and that, that itself is a material. I bet that makes such an awesome weapon. All right. Well, that is done. Guys, I'm sorry that one took me so long. It did take me a long time. Should we do a leviathan while we're here? May as well. Oh. Why did it? Did No way. Did it just give us the bag? Did, was it just like, nah, nah, fam. Wow, it literally did. Leviathan mask? <laughs> that is so funny. That is weird. That is, that is a weird mask. All right, okay, cool. Oh. Oh, I didn't know this was a thing. I didn't know that would happen. I kind of just assumed that you would fight the boss again. I guess that's kind of cool. What's this? Summons uh, a Simon Lure to fight for you. Oh, wow. So is that part of the um, the Heart of Elements, if I'm correct? I can't necessarily remember it. I did make it a while ago. Hotline Fishing Hook as well. That's cool. So you can get Obsidian Fish. The Heart of Elements. All right. I feel like this would be a cool weapon to... Uh, a cool accessory to make again. It needs a lot, though. So you guys may have to give me some time on this one. Because I do like to get all the, the parts for that one before an episode. That's cool. So we could just go and kill it again. Oh, wow. So, like, let's see. We're on four platinum now. So let's say, for example, we're like, okay, let's stay here for a while. I'm going to get... Oh, wait. Is that a material? Oh, I didn't know it was a material. Um, say, for example, you were like, okay, I'm going to I'm gonna just wait here for a while and farm out. So I'm on four platinum now. Open it up. Nine platinum. That's actually pretty cool. I've got a few of these, haven't I? Yeah, that's that's pretty chill. I like that. I like that. That's pretty cool. And then you could sell all the other stuff and get even more. And what's down here? Oh, that's that stress uh, accessory, the landrium or whatever. Cool. All right. <laughs> I just I wasn't expecting that. I'm intrigued about this though. Why is this? Oh, oh, the S death the S D F M G. So you need an S D M G. One of these and this. And you make it at Drayden's Forge. Alright then, let's work on that. So the Space Dolphin Machine Gun is a Moon Lord drop. So I may already have it and I've just stored it away. Let's see. SD. Okay, so I don't have it. Right. May as well do this then. Can you buy from the Witch Doctor some summons for it? If I remember correctly. Can you buy the emblems here? No. There is one person who will sell you the emblems, isn't there? Is it maybe the wizard? Do you sell the uh, the summons? All right, okay. All right, I'll do a little jump cut, guys. I'll go and uh I'll go and work on this uh this thing. That's cool though. All right, I'll, yeah, I'll go work on the moon lord thing and uh and I'll be right back. Okay, see you in a sec. All right, so treasure bag number 1. Did I get it? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> you gotta love it when stuff like that happens. That is bomb. I couldn't even uh I couldn't have even plan that. It's so good. <laughs> I was about to I was kinda like, well I hope I don't in my head I was thinking, ah, oh, I kinda hope I don't get it. So then I can show them how cool it is to defeat the Moon Lord in like five seconds or whatever. Even though it takes forever to spawn. I was like, that would be a really cool thing. So the S D F N G so if I was to actually, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. I was gonna try and figure out <laughs> what it means, but it's probably it's obviously something very offensive. So, or something with a swear. And you know, I'm not about that here. Oh, <laughs> I just realised I don't have a demolition. I don't have an arms dealer. <laughs> That's such an unprepared chippy moment. Right? Do I have any bullets? Are they called bullets in the game? What are they called? Uh, ammo. Musket? Musket balls. 
Oh man, I don't even have any bullets. I don't have any at all. all right, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna go into a different world and use my arm stealer. So I will return in a second. Hey, look at this world. What a classic. Season one, my dudes. I don't know where the arm stealer is on this world. Hopefully we actually have one. Okay, he's over here. Yeah, this is season one world. <laughs> it's kind of cool to uh, to mix the two things together. Right. I will take all of your silver bullets, my good man. I'll take uh, a few thousand so we can have a good little look. I haven't tested it out yet, so I'm very excited. All right, let's go back to our world. We'll, uh, we'll be right back. All right, we're back. Let's see. Double tap down to give us an extra boost. You, you guys ready? <laughs> that is sick. That is actually really cool. I was expecting it to just be really fast, and I kind of thought, well, that would be a bit boring. Oh, wow. Look at that. What's that doing? 17,000 damage? What's this do? Okay, this does a lot more, but you have to remember that we have a mage set up. This is actually really special. I would love to test this against a, uh, a boss, but I don't have anything to test it against right now. That's really, really cool. That is actually really, really cool. I feel like that's a... Uh, that's probably one of these weapons that Calamity fans really enjoy seeing, if I'm honest. 50% chance to not consume ammo. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Right. Well, I'm going to... Uh, actually, let's test it on this guy. There we go. <laughs> Easy. Right. Well, I'm going to end today's episode there, guys. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. I hope you're all enjoying school. I hope uh, <laughs> Monday blues aren't dragging you down too much. Is it still Monday? It's Monday, right? Or is it Tuesday? Ah, don't matter. Right. Have a great day, everyone. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.